everyone how are you doing today this is dr yebo from sunny palm springs california i'm on vacation with my family in palm springs california it's been a beautiful vacation i've had all my four kids here with me and my husband it's just wonderful we rented this home in palm springs that is just absolutely gorgeous the grounds of the home are just beautiful there's a lime tree here <laughs> beautiful huge pool it's just been really nice the only thing is it's really hot in palm springs it's about 109 to 111 degrees during the day so as soon as i woke up today at seven i'm like you know what i'm gonna come out here and do a video before it gets hot so it's about 8 15 the temperature is rising fast but it's still about 92 93 degrees now and i have two umbrellas above me so i am fine it's hot but i i have my water with me so today i wanted to do a video to help you ladies to really know how to know if a man is falling in love with you okay because it's very important right when you're single and you're still dating you want to figure out whether the man is falling in love with you or not because if a man doesn't fall in love with you the, the relationship can't even begin love is very important relationships are already difficult as they are so imagine if the man isn't even in love with you so it is crucial for you to know if a man is falling in love with you and unfortunately the answer is not whether he tells you he loves you anybody can say any words anybody can say i love you you're the love of my life i'll never leave you but is he acting that way so i want to give you specific actions that your boyfriend or your fiance will be doing or even your husband honestly or even your husband because sometimes in marriages men fall out of love and you know they don't they don't their actions don't match up with their words so today the the topic is how to know if a man is falling in love with you or if he's in love with you but mostly it's for the single and divorced women how to know if the man you're with is actually falling in love with you but married women you can also apply it to your marriage how do you know if this man is still in love with you how do you know if he still adores you so the first thing for you to know and again if you guys don't know who i am let me introduce myself i'm dr yabo i'm the money to honey coach i'm a business lifestyle and dating coach i help people make money i help them make money via business and entrepreneurship and i also help single and divorced women attract a high quality man and find true love so that's what i do my videos are very 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 helpful but if you feel like you need more help from me then you should definitely sign up for my coaching go to my website dryabo.com and look for the coaching program that best serves you and sign up my entrepreneurship group coaching program is less than three weeks away so if you're somebody who wants to set up an online or offline business you want to make money from entrepreneurship definitely sign up before august 2nd because it starts on august 2nd go to my website you can send me a message from my website or you can just comment below just comment right here on my youtube and say dr yabo i want to join your entrepreneurship coaching it does cost them ten thousand dollars i do not have free coaching i don't have free mentoring programs all my coaching is paid and it is premium coaching so if you know you're ready to invest ten thousand or fourteen thousand dollars on yourself comment below and say dr yabo i want to sign up for your entrepreneurship and dating coaching how do i get it done i also have the option of one hour which is two thousand five hundred dollars so yeah so that's all the help i have for you but i do not have free coaching and my coaching is not cheap but you will get amazing transformational changes in your life you will make money you will attract that man you will get the results you want but my coaching is not free and it's not cheap so yes so what's the first thing that you will see if this man is falling in love with you he will want to make you happy at all costs yes men that's how they are if a man is falling in love with you he will not be able to tolerate seeing you sad or depressed he will not be able to tolerate seeing you cry or being sad he will want to make you happy okay and making you happy doesn't mean buying you designer bags and buying you a car and still cheating on you no that's not making you happy some of you women get it all wrong men will shower you with all sorts of material gifts but they're cheating on you they don't have time for you they're never with you 
that is just a man who knows that he wants to buy your attention with money that is not making you happy okay material things don't make you happy unless you're just a materialistic woman and that's all you want but if that's all you want then you are not for my platform i'm talking about women of substance who actually want true loving relationships so this man will want to make you happy he won't want to say anything to make you feel sad if he makes a mistake and says anything to upset you he will apologize he will cuddle up with you this man simply will just want to make you happy he seeing you happy will make him happy and on the other hand also he will also be happy so the first thing is happiness he will want you to be happy and you yourself will see in him that wow i'm making this man happy this man is happy he truly is loving being in a relationship with me so happiness is the first thing honestly this one is so important because a man who is falling in love with you will not be able to stand seeing you sad or miserable he will want to do everything to make you happy and you will also see in him that this man is happy he's just boisterous he's you know he's doing well in his job he's doing he's just happy his mood is positive he's just a happy person he's not grumpy that's number one number two which i've said in many videos he will make you a top priority in his life you will be his priority i'm telling you if a man is falling in love with you you are not going to be hearing excuses like oh i'm sorry i'm traveling for three or four weeks so i'm going to be out of touch but i'll see you when i get back i may not have time or oh um after today i don't think i'll be able to see you for another two weeks i'm really busy my dog is sick my kids are going to sports i won't have any time no that's not gonna happen a man who is falling in love with you will make you a priority it's not that he's going to leave everything he's doing in his life now there's obsessive you have to know the difference between somebody who's obsessed with you i'm talking about somebody who's truly falling in love with you he will make the time to to spend time with you if he sees you today if you have a date today you see each other today before he leaves he will start to plan the next date you'll see that he'll start to say oh so when can i see you the next time are you free in two days time are you free in three days time should we go for a walk should we go and get ice cream he will make you a priority he will make out time to see you he will text you when he's not around you he will call you when he's not around you not one day will go by that basically you won't hear from this man this is how my husband was when we were dating not one day went by that i didn't hear from him he would either call me every single day or he would text me in fact i believe that until we got married my husband called me every single day even when before covid and he would travel for work he called me every single day while he was gone okay so this man will make you a priority he will call you he will text you if he can't call you not one day will pass by without you hearing from him because he will just want to make you understand that he's thinking of you and he wants to hear from you so all of you women i hope you're listening all those men that disappear for two weeks or they don't call you and you are the one chasing them around with text you are the one calling them they are not falling in love with you actions are what you should look at not words a man who is falling in love with you and who adores you will make the time to contact you if not every day two or three days will not go by with that man calling you and he will plan the next time he's going to see you no matter what okay so number two is he makes you a priority because you're always on his mind you're always on his mind and then number three guess what this man will pay attention to his appearance because he's falling in love with you he doesn't want you to like you know like look at other men or be interested in other men he will start to really pay attention to himself he'll start to take care of himself that's when you'll notice that he's thinking of what he eats what he drinks you know he'll pay attention to his dressing when he shows up to come to see you, you you'll be able to tell that oh you know he's paid some attention he'll probably spray his favorite cologne or something but he'll be taking care of himself and paying attention to his own dressing and then the next thing is this one is so important this man will be honest to you honesty he will be honest to you he will not tell lies he will not be deceiving you or be deceitful he will be open to you and he will be sincere to you this one is so crucial but i'm sure you guys are thinking well how do i know he's being honest with me you will know 
because you feel good you're not i mean none of us are kids around here if a man is telling lies most of the time we know he's telling a lie it's just that we are telling our own minds not to believe him okay i know that you know when your man is telling you a lie you know when he's deceiving you it's just that you don't know what to do with it you don't know how to confront him you don't know how to say that is not true i don't think you're telling me the truth you won't know how to tell you know a man who loves you first of all he will be open with you if you're with a man who's constantly hiding his phone or it seems like he has two or three phones or whenever you're with him you can never see his screen or he always puts his phone face down or you know you'll know that there's something that he's hiding i mean sometimes people put their phone face down when they're dinner because they don't want like text coming in and they don't want disturbance but if this is a man who chronically hides his phone from you okay who chronically hides his phone from you or when he's texting somebody or he calls someone and you ask him who is that he gets defensive like why do you want to know why are you asking me who is that that man is hiding from something from you he's being secretive or a man who you've never met any of his friends you've never met any of his family and you think you're in a relationship with him that man is hiding something he's not being open or honest or sincere so these are all the ways you'll know a man who's falling in love with you will not have any problems with laying his phone beside you or you you would have met his friends or his sibling siblings and his family he won't be hiding his life from you you would have met his work colleagues you will know you'll start to learn a lot about his life you won't feel like his whole life is a secret from you so a man falling in love with you will be honest you will start to know a lot about him you will know a lot about his family you will know a lot about his kids about his past he will lay his phone beside you he will use his computer beside you without even hiding you will go and visit his home after a while i'm not saying you should go to a man's home uh, before the, like the first 10 dates wait to meet him in public places for a while until you feel like you know who he is before you go to his house don't go to a man's house too fast. I will say wait for till after the first 10 dates that you've met him and you've gone out and you feel like you know who he is. You've met a few of his friends or you've met his family or his kids if he's been divorced. Give yourself some time to know this man before you go to his house. But if you feel like he's hiding a part of his life from you, he's not falling in love with you or he's some kind of crazy wacko guy that you should be you should be careful of the next one is he'll be loyal to you he will be loyal and faithful to you a guy who's falling in love with you when you're out with him he's not going to be staring at other people or you know he's just going to be loyal to you even if other women are making a pass at him he's not even going to look their way because he's focused on you his his mind is on you He's falling in love with you. So he's not going to be interested in other women. He's going to be loyal and faithful to you. He's not going to have that wandering eye. If women are making a pass, even if he has a wandering eye, because all men do look. At the end of the day, you can't say that a man shouldn't look. If you see a nice looking man, you look. You don't want to be too controlling. But even if he looks at them and if these women start to flirt with him or they make a pass at him, he will not be interested in them because he's focused to, on you and he's being loyal and faithful to you. So a man who is loyal and faithful to you, you know he's falling in love with you. Then this one, I said it earlier already, a man whose words match up with his actions, right? His words match up to his actions. What he says is what he does. If he tells you he loves you, he actually acts like he loves you. If he says he's coming to see you in two days, he will show up in two days. He won't start to postpone. His words match up with his actions. He does what he says he will do. So that's the next one. Then another one is he'll, pass, he'll give you compliments. When he sees you, oh, my husband, he gives me the best compliments. When he sees you, he'll tell you, oh, you look beautiful, oh, you look lovely. You know, he loves your dress. He'll flirt with you. He'll cuddle with you. He may slap your butt or something. You know, he'll want to hold you. He'll want to give you hugs spontaneously. He'll want to kiss you during the day spontaneously. 
this is how you know a man is falling in love with you he'll give you compliments he'll tell you you look beautiful you look amazing he loves the dress you're wearing he loves this he loves your hair he loves your makeup you know all that he'll want to hold you touch you you'll be turning him on right because he's falling in love with you he'll give you compliments the next one is he'll want to show you off this is part of what i said before you would have met his parents you would have met his friends i told you that i met my my uh, husband's dad on a third date i mean if a man introduces you to his parents that fast you know he's serious with you i met his dad and his dad honestly my my husband and his dad are so close he calls his dad every day i met his dad in person on a third date because his dad lives in england but he happened to be visiting here uh, visiting atlanta and we all went out to an indian restaurant and to a comedy club um, uh, on our third date so he will want to show you off to his family to his kids to his friends his colleagues he will just be so proud of you he will want everybody to meet you and when he's not around you, he will miss you terribly. He won't be able to wait to see you. Even if he's gone on a work trip, he will call you every day. It's not a man who will be gone on a work trip and will give you some excuse. Oh, I'm sorry, the lines were not good from Germany. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't get through from California. And then he's gone for three weeks and he doesn't call you because he has some excuse about how he was too busy. He was at meetings all day. That is not true. A man who is falling in love with you will find a way to call you no matter what. There's no way you can be busy for 24 hours a day all the time. So these are the ways that you know a man is falling in love with you. So women, please stop deceiving yourselves. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably read a lot of my posts where I say the one way that you know if a man loves and adores you is by his actions, not by his words. And I'm not talking about actions of buying you material things because that is not love. A man buying you a Rolls Royce or a man buying you a diamond ring, but he has 10 other girlfriends. You don't see him but once every two weeks or once every three months. That is not love. That is not love. That is just trying to silence you and quiet you with material things. Well, if he buys you a Rolls Royce and he also does all of these things, then you are you are a lucky woman. Oh gosh, my phone is tilting. <laughs> then you're a lucky woman right if he does all of those things if he buys you a bentley and he's still making prior time for you he still wants to keep you happy he's making you a priority then you're you're blessed right but guys don't focus on material things because material things are not love material things will fade the bentley will fade all of that will fade but the man who makes you feel loved and adored will be your partner for life and he will bring you true bliss and true happiness so these are the ways that you know a man is falling in love with you and even if you're married this is how you know that the man is still in love with you he still adores you and respects you if he's not doing these things he doesn't love adore or respect you anymore so i hope this video helped those of you women who seem to be like you're confused you don't know if this man loves you you don't know if he's serious this is how you know a man is serious if he's falling in love with you he's serious about you and these are all the ways that you know he's falling in love with you so share this video with a friend who may be confused about a relationship let her know that dr yabo said if a man is falling in love with you you should be happy and these are the ways you know that he's falling in love with you okay i love you guys i'm still in sunny palm springs california i'm so glad i was able to do this video out in the outdoors for you i hope you enjoyed it please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel share my channel with your friends and please post a comment below if you love this video please post a comment and say thank you dr yabo this was helpful comments are really helpful for my platform Thank you so much. I love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.